Note that there's nothing you want to do that there are no hundreds of thousands of people who are already doing that. You can start with imitation. What did I say? You see, any knowledge that is out there, no matter how sound that guy is, the guy is just pro pro person, that guy knows this thing is sound. Sir, he also learned it from what? Someone else. That's how it works. He had it from someone, he read it somewhere, he found it somewhere. So there's nothing wrong when you are stranded and you don't know what to do to borrow brilliance. To do what? Borrow what? There is a book titled Borrowing What? Brilliance. How many of you have seen that book? Yes. What some of you do not know is that in the world of business entrepreneurship, most of these guys that are successful today who have done something great, they only they most of them built on an already existing knowledge or a work that somebody have started. I think I was listening to you when you were sharing somewhere. Was it that borrowing brilliance you shared in the last uh, there was a that time you were sharing because we, we run a book club. That some of you will not come, I know. It's part of what I said. When uh, uh, Namdi Azikwe said, give me back what? My youth and I will pay any amount for it. He felt he could have still maximized the days of his youth better than how he went about it. Like some of you now, come to book club, you never, it's not my, it's not my thing. Book is not my thing. No, it's not my thing. Continue. Money very soon will not be your, it's not your, your thing. Because of success, you can't read, reading, reading. No, no, no. To build lasting success, you must be a reader. I say you want to build local, or micro zoom, something that you just make you relevant in your local community and you're celebrate. but if you want to stand in the in, in in the league of world champion global stars there are things you need to know and you cannot know them except you read otherwise there's a level your business will get to will never rise beyond that level because there's a lead there's a seal and it's not like that will break it now watch it let's do an experiment all of you i'm inviting you to the reading club on wednesday what time is the reading club three o'clock watch it take calendars of today watch how many people will come on wednesday it's part this is a simple experiment. I know what I'm talking about. This is a generation that doesn't want to read, but we want to make all the money in the world. How is it possible? So back to the book, Baroni Brilliance. He shared, because that was the book he was reading, so in the book club we share. So you are reading only one book. You come and share what you've read. And then when everybody finish, finish sharing, you've learned from several books, which you can have read on your own in a month. You are reading one book in a month, and we only have four review sections, just on Wednesdays. And we have four weeks in a month, just four times. And we are 15 now. You only read one book. The first week, you share chapter, you summarize chapter one, two, and three. The following week, you share maybe chapter four, five, six, seven. And the book is just 12 chapters. Maybe the third week, you share chapter seven, eight, nine. The fourth week, you share 10, 11, 12. And everybody does the same thing. At the end of the day, when May is over, I've learned from 15 books. But how many did I read? Just one. You grow fast. Because that 15 book will have taken you the next six months to read. That's even if you're a good reader, a fast reader. These are opportunities. But this generation will never, you see, it's not when we now reach that kind of age. Some of us now look back and say, I have some opportunity to... Uh, even with my little age where I am now, I've started having that kind of a mindset, like that kind of a regret somehow, some things I felt I could have taken advantage of four or five years ago. But thank God, say time still there in our youth. But it's also another deception, taking time still there. There are certain things you will lose. That opportunity will never come back to you. It will take a very, very long time.